Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. After the interception, here's Wilson. That is caught at the seven yard line. Touchdown! Keenan Allen, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Broncos are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point from McManus is good, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. On second down and four, Allen. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Allen to throw it. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Kareem Jackson. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. Touchdown, Broncos! Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. Taken in at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. 
Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. To throw again on second down. Wilson, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Twenty-one nothing. Our score after one. bring out an extra defensive back here on third. A give to Williams, running right. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. The kick by McManus is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go again with Dobbins. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They go play action with Wilson. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the Ravens are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. 
That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. To throw on second and six. Allen uncorks one for Davis. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And he is going to have a Broncos first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I thought once he got out of the pocket, he was looking further downfield. Instead, he brings his sight lines back to a shorter route, settles on his receiver running the drag left to right, and they wind up not getting a whole lot out of that one. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And, yep, indeed, the flag is out. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. So more of the same here, CD. Not a touchdown, but three more points added on to their lead. Yeah, it's been a total domination here in this first half. Offensively, defensively, even the special teams have chipped in as he connects on the field goal. It may be a little bit premature, but I think the only thing they're worried about dominating now, the post-game meal. And they'll begin by running the option. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now on second and 13, Allen. And he whips that one incomplete there. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. On third and long, it's Allen. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Allen going to go on fourth down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Play action. It's Wilson. That one to the sideline, and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. So roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sutton. Touchdown! Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Broncos continue to pull away here this first half. 
McManus's point after is good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure, back on their offense to pick themselves up and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Throwing again on second down. Allen. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10 yards. And the Baltimore first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Oh, he fakes a spike. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To the air. Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. He finds his man. It's Charlie Kohler. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And again, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. To throw, it's Allen. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now. Of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. There's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they broke, they broke it up. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. Play action. Now Wilson. 
Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he'll be out right at the 35. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he goes out right around the 39. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. This one fielded at the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. On first down, Wilson. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw once more on second and ten. Wilson got his man complete over the middle. That's Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big pickup of 38. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. They'll throw this out wide and complete it to Ridley. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. A 7-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 17-yard line. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. Touchdown, Broncos! Keenan Allen from 17 yards out. And the Broncos take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Allen. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen off the play fake. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. 
That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. This will be caught at about the six. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover, started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goalpost right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they've brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First down, and they're going to throw it Allen. And now here is another interception. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. McManus now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Ravens get over at their own 25 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. 
but Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Up the middle, it's Edwards. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. First down, Allen. And the Broncos get there and take him down. The it'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Allen going to throw. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. The Ravens on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. They'll try the draw here with Dobbins. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The Ravens send their punter out now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. send their punt around now as he's on a punt for the first time. It's a fake. And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Now Allen. That's complete. Left side to Bateman. That he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter, with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it. Allen hit. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. 
And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to it behind the line of scrimmage. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play though is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Williams going to get it again on second down. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. They were just trying to get their offense a little more room down near their own goal line. But this is just going to make things worse. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now Wilson down around his goal line. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slant. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Broncos are going to have a new set of downs. There's a beautiful throw there. And he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time. And every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. Tackle there by Michael Pierce. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 14, 14. They run it again with Williams. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started.
fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Broncos, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-4. and four. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to 3-9. and nine. And they'll be on the road next week as they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Thank <laughs> you.